Hello, beautiful people. So, in this video, I'm going to talk about the tongue. In the last video, I talked about the butt, and I kind of realized I was talking about it rather definitively. And so, I wanted to kind of reiterate that these are things that I have noticed, and not everyone is going to have the same pairings with like human interactions and physical representations that emit, that reveal certain, I guess, cognitive uh, realities or I don't know, say functions, but also just kind of the how who the person is, and so. Um, I find that there's these parallels and it's kind of something that I would observe over time and I find, hey, there's these commonalities. So I am going to say that this is just something I noticed and hey, um, hopefully that inspires some conversation. And so here we go. So with the tongue, I find that, and this is going to be a little definitive, but because there's a lot of implication in the statement, but how people utilize the tongue um, is also how they approach sex and self-fulfillment and it's not just the tongue but it's also kind of like the mouth so when they're trying to eat or whatnot and sex and eating unfortunately strangely enough is a very um are very similar because they are um um, self gratifiers or like because when you eat and when you're especially like with sugar but even just anything when you're really hungry um, there's you have this craving and when you eat you're satisfying that craving and so same with sexual desire and then when you have sex you're you're satisfying the craving and so um, when when those are highly merged and and people are more overt about their desire for um, um, their desire for appeasing themselves, I guess, in their cravings, they're a lot more open to, um, I guess, um, ex I guess expressing, <laughs> expressing their tongue and their mouth. But I would say it's in an unhealthy way. Um, they kind of more consider their own comforts than the comforts of of their people. Um, to a, de to a degree, not, yeah, it was, there, everything has, like, um, bleeding lines, I'm not saying that this is a definitive thing, it's just something that I notice is that if they're, um, highly suggestive with their, with their mouth, with how they're about to eat, and their tongue, um, they are going to be more concerned about their self-fulfillment, um, than, or just, yeah, I guess, concerned about their self-fulfillment, and so that's what I would kind of, in a way, call a sexual perversion, because, um, I guess they selfishly approach sex and or um, cons like a consuming nature. Um, yeah, so, and I'm not saying that people that don't do that or don't, I guess, articulate with their mouth and tongue in the same way. I'm not saying that those kinds of people don't have a um, self-fulfilling thing and might consider themselves more than others. I think we all, in a way, have like a self-preserved mindset um, and it comes out in different ways um, but I find that people that do this um, uh, do it a little more overtly I guess um, than others so I mean it's just a thought I'd love to hear what you guys think um, let me know in the comment section below I'll see you in another video never like you never know you know what's a really good book this book backwards and forwards <laughs> Now I just broke it. All right.